the two takes that you talked about, they're they're a semitone apart, correct? Correct. So, did you have to go in? Did you use Studer multitracks like they had and very speed the multitrack and then bring it into a digital workstation, or did you do it digitally? No, we never we never very speed digitally. Um, so it was all it's done. never as good, yeah. So yeah. we did we did on tape. We did, we're old school. Um, and, uh, <laughs> And it's interesting just to just to go to that. Well, when we say, I mean, I, I do have some sort of sense of weight of power and respect among the community of the Apple world. And uh, one thing I said to them is is that we should we should not speed up or slow down the tracks. When when um, they did, I think it was um, a ticket to write. I think I feel fine actually. The the, 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 the version that was done. The um, the tape machine was obviously in the, you know it's a real to real tape machine. They're they're miming. It was running too fast. And you can see George, and when you watch the video, he's like, oh, oh. You know, why is it so fast? Um, so we actually, it was actually a real technical to get the quality up of video, but we actually, I made them slow down the video to match the song. Best of wow. My second part question, you mentioned the Mellotron earlier. Um, and of course, they didn't play the end of the song where there's that tail out and everything. I, I know you weren't there when they recorded it, but um, you were able to analyze the multitracks. You know the little... That thing at the end is that a Mellotron? Yeah, that's a Mellotron loop. Okay. A, and they used to get on flying, and so that's just a preset. Right. And so, is that one of those sound effects side uh, from the left side? Of yeah, the absolutely right. Yeah. Okay. So, just everyone knows a Mellotron is a is a is was what is a synthesizer, and what and what it does in a purely basic level, a synthesizer copies or a sampler copies. A Mellotron was basically a really early sample where you, when you press the key, a tape would play and tape and play the recording of the note. So and so that's what the flute sound was. I've looked for that sound in all the Mellotron library. I've never been able to find it. Did they fuck with it somehow? Or? <laughs> Did they fuck with it? <laughs> of course they fucked with it. <laughs> I think that um, sorry. I think that uh, I, I think Paul has. I think uh, Paul or George has a mellotron actually. I'll, I'll ask him. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, we got time for just one or two more questions right here. What's the status of the Let It Be uh, restoration? Are we ever going to see the film? Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> the Let It Be film looks great. Have you done some of that too? Um, I it's it's a it's one of those things on my to do list. Okay. Um, it it looks great. It will sound great, um, and it will. We hope it'll come out um, s soon. I feel like someone is being kind of questioned by the police here. Um, <laughs> Apple has a wonderful way of kind of working like the old Kremlin. <laughs> and things come out at various times for mysterious reasons. Mm -hmm. And but whenever they do come out, look at this. What's yeah. we looked at tonight? Well, they yeah. come out with high, high quality picture and sound. And if Let It Be comes out, which I hope and think it may, and there may be an extra little DVD as well with some stuff that got cut out. Who knows? Uh, but I, it, it will, I think, arrive sometime. Last question. It's got to be quick. Right there. Yes, sir. There's a voice that says, "Pick it up." Do you know anything about where was that when you uh, when you mixed it? Was it on a track? Was it a separate track? No, it's it's on a track. It's on a track. It's just it's just one of those. It's probably on. Um, it's not on the vocal track um, because otherwise they'd have removed it. Um, it could be on the it's pretty, it could be on the acoustic guitar track. So when he you is an interesting. I mean. Depending on your level of interest in life, uh, um, uh, it was recorded at Trident. It wasn't an Abbey Road recording, um, and so it sounds slightly different. Um, so not only, not, only, not only was it well, I wasn't there, but I wasn't even vicariously there. <laughs> I heard the remarks, and I didn't pick any females. Who said that? All right, ask you a question. Where are you? Oh, there she is. I saw your dad at the palace. Zillion years ago, talking about music, and it was just a fantastic night, and it's been extremely delightful hearing you carrying this on. And please send them our best wishes. I will do. Uh, well, I'd like to thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you for allowing us to do this. We appreciate it, ladies and gentlemen. Charles.
Michael Lindsay Hall.